Here we go, hip and knee dysfunctions. We're gonna focus on the hip first, and then we'll move on to the knee. So what are we doing here with our hip and knee and what are our objectives? We wanna know why Pilates is successful for someone rehabilitating the hip and knee. And I have to tell you that it is actually really quite successful. And it's, it's one of the, I think for lumbar spine, it's really great specific, Pilates specifically. Uh, I think lumbar spine is a great place. And I think the whole lower limb, we can do so much with just your regular Pilates exercises. It's just knowing which ones to apply when and for what reason. So that's hopefully what you're gonna get out of this. Also, hopefully you'll get to understand some common hip and knee conditions. You'll definitely learn the contraindications for each condition and then develop some modifications that you can use for people who have different conditions. Um, and also just maximize the benefit of what the Pilates repertoire can offer for those individuals. Definitely be able to minimize risk of further injury, um, even in just information you give them, but also the exercises that you're doing and, and teaching them how to have better posture alignment in daily life so that they're not uh, wearing down their hips and knees. And then really create a safe exercise program for a client with a hip or knee dysfunction.